I have an insane story for you guys that over the past day has just been making my blood absolutely boil. For those who don't know, about a month ago, a story broke out between Minecraft YouTuber Socks for One and Artful. Artful's a editing manager guy. I mean, his career is ruined now because of this, but that's basically what he used to do. Essentially, Socks for One attempted to expose Artful for being a scammer because he didn't pay his editors properly. And I'm gonna get into that. There's been quite a few videos made on this, but I don't think these videos explain enough how actually idiotic these people are. I mean, it's actually insane. Like I was reading these comments and genuinely getting pissed off. Also, if you know this topic, there is a huge update to the story, so you're definitely gonna wanna stick around till the end. Now, for a deep dive into this topic, I would suggest watching Willie Mac's video, but I'm gonna give some of my takes on this topic first. Now, let's read a few comments, and I will explain to you why they are completely idiotic. How much should Artful pay you for this video? How can you defend someone who is clearly scamming people, literally taking way more money than the person doing all the work for, doing nothing except for being in contact with the YouTuber. I actually can't believe I'm gonna have to explain this step by step to you people, but it's, I, my mind is just getting melted at reading these comments, like I have to do this. It seems like common sense, but trust me that these people, it's actually not. So let's go through the steps. Imagine you have some good editing skills and you want to get yourself into the field. You have done things for maybe school projects or personal projects, but you haven't worked for anyone yet. So you don't have a visible portfolio. If you don't know what a portfolio is, it's a list of work you've done that people who are going to pay you can look at to see if you're worth it. Now, as the editor, let's try to imagine the people who need to pay you, right? Who needs to pay you? YouTubers. YouTubers need to pay you. That is how you're going to get your money is by YouTubers paying you for your work. Now, let's switch seats here for a minute. Let's imagine you're the YouTuber. You spend your entire day making content, let's say streaming, gaming, just talking in general, etc. After working all day, you sit down and now you have to find someone to edit. You're presented two options. You can either A, scour the internet randomly for editors, just hoping to stumble upon one that's not only good, but reliable, will get back to you at the time you need it and won't randomly ghost you, leaving you in the dark and having to scour for one again, or you can pay somebody to do it for you. They will always provide you an editor. The editing will always come out good. But yeah, you have to pay them more because they're the ones who are managing your editors. You, you no longer have that as your job. You don't have to do that anymore. Not to mention, maybe you're like Socks for One and you have multiple YouTube channels. You might not have the time to manage editors and manage two, three, four, five YouTube channels at once. That's a lot of content to pump out that you just simply don't have the time to keep in contact with editors for, see everyone's availability, see if anyone can do the job and find reliable people. No, you just wanna pay some guy to do that for you. You just give him the money and he gets the editors, that's it. But let's go back as an editor again. Let's say the YouTuber decides to do option A and you're the editor who has no portfolio yet. How do you expect to get in contact with YouTubers and have them pay for your services? First of all, you have no portfolio. I mean, there's nothing for them to look at. You can hope that they randomly contact you over all the other editors with actual portfolios and you can just say, I have no portfolio, but if you watched this random school project I made in 12th grade, then uh, you'll know that I'm an awesome editor and, and you can hope they take that instead of, you know, Chad on Twitter who already has like three years of editing experience and has a backlog of portfolio and people he's worked with. And this is completely assuming that the YouTubers even have the time of day to just randomly contact you and then watch your projects and like it. There's so many factors here. So what this guy does is it's his job. He has all day. This is what he gets paid to do is to look at these editors with no portfolio, look at their personal projects, look at their school projects, whatever it may be, determine if they're good, take them under his wing and make them part of a group of editors who now have guaranteed work with big YouTubers. The editor doesn't have to do any of the work in trying to contact them and just hoping they reply. Instead, this guy does that work for them and they're already set and they're in. Now, okay, here's why Artful isn't a scammer. Now in this business model, if every YouTuber agrees to pay a set amount, they agree to pay Artful this amount of money for the service, and every editor agrees to get paid this amount of money for their service, nobody is getting scammed. 
There's nothing dishonest about this at all. Everything that is said is honest. Artful never once underpaid anyone money they were promised. If they were promised $80, they were given $80. If they were promised $120, they were given $120. It's not Artful's fault if these people undersell themselves, but I don't even think it's underselling. They have no portfolio. He's giving them an opportunity and paying them. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even think these editors are contractually obliged. I believe, I may be incorrect, but I believe that they can leave any time. So once they've built up enough of a portfolio and enough contact with certain YouTubers and certain YouTubers might see that they're really good, they can leave and contact the YouTubers individually. I don't believe there's an obligation to even be in this thing. The only reason you would want to be in this thing is to gain the benefit of this guy scouting work for you and the work being with good, solid clients. Not only does the YouTuber benefit in that they get editors, the editors benefit from this thing because they get work found for them. The editors don't even have to find the work. The guy comes to them with work and proposes it to them and then they do it for the promised money. But anyway, okay, so this asshole socks for one somehow manages to twist this into a scam. I will say one thing though, I do think if you wanted to criticize Artful for being a bit greedy, Okay, I mean, he's taking a little bit more of the cut than the industry standard. Typically, the industry standard is that the guy who's in the middle, like Artful, takes 50%, but I believe he was taking sometimes 70 or even up to 80. Now, does that matter at all? No, he could take 95%, but if the editor comes in and agrees and is doing the work for an agreed amount and Artful is honest about how much he's going to pay and always pays then there's no scam. He's just greedy. If you want to criticize him for being greedy, okay. I don't really think that fucking matters, but sure. It's completely different to say someone's greedy and someone's a scam artist who's lying and dishonest. That's just completely not true. So yeah, but basically Socks for One pulled that whole BS. And another thing he pulled that was just absolutely insane is that basically for the month of November, 2021, he owed Artful, I don't know exactly how much, like between 13 to 17 grand. It was a lot of money. He owed Artful a lot of money. And the way Artful pays his editors is obviously Artful gets the money from Socks for One and then gives it to the editors. But Socks for One refused to pay Artful. He didn't pay Artful. And then Socks for One had the audacity to send one of his managers on an interview and try to paint Artful as a scam artist because he hadn't paid his editors for the November work yet. Dude. Artful hasn't gotten his money yet. Artful hasn't gotten his money from Socks for One yet. Of course he hasn't paid the editors. He hasn't gotten paid. He's the middleman. He needs to get paid and then pay the editors. He's transferring the money, transferring the contacts. That's, that's his job and you haven't paid him. Of course he can't pay his editors yet. Otherwise he has to pay out of pocket. He has to pay from his own profit, which he makes from his business. That's insane. No, he's not paying out of his pocket. He's paying out of your pocket because you're the one who's using him to get in contact with editors. It was just complete delusion. I'm just, I was like, wow, you are just so stupid. All right, hold on. Oh, shit. Man, let me take a, let me take a breath here. Oh my God, dude. I go on a, I'm going on a bit of a red pill rant right now because this is just wild. And it's crazy because we just, ha we haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. This is just this tip of the iceberg for the insanity that Socks for One has managed to convince his audience of. And there's a lot more really fun and awesome, amazing comments on this Willie Mac video. For example, Tara Slayer here says, I, this is the most broken, retarded English I've ever seen. Willie saying that he isn't defending none of them. Also him targeting socks over artfully. Hmm. Bigger clout, bigger target. It's okay to hunt the big fish first, Willie. But be aware because the big fish has its tiny piranhas guarding it that will turn you to dust if you... Don't choose your words correctly. I mean, Jesus Christ, dude, this is just... Depressed Toaster says, 100% no way this isn't biased. This man says, like, nothing bad about a guy that's scamming editors. I mean, do you guys see why this makes me fume? Nobody is getting scammed. Literally the only possible criticism you can levy against Artful is that he was greedy, that he took a little more than the industry standard. That's literally it. Everything he's doing, he's following the business practice exactly as he's supposed to except he's taking a little bit more of the cut than the standard there's no law he's not being dishonest there's no legal anything he's breaking he's just taking a little more percentage okay 
I don't care. I literally could not care less. So dude, ugh, I just, I'm literally just, this is so disappointing. Now you guys might be wondering, okay, what's the update? Cause this story is actually like a month and a half old, I think maybe like a month and a week. It's, it's a little bit old now, but basically like a few weeks ago, after all the bullshit, after he completely ruined Artful's reputation. Now, I didn't even go into everything he did to Artful. Like I said, if you want to see that, you're going to have to go watch Willie Max video because he goes into every excruciating detail of the BS he pulled Artful. It was insane. But after that, he paid Artful out of, quote, good faith, 13 grand, which isn't even everything he owed. But he was just like, you know what? I feel like being good now, so I'm going to pay the 13 grand I owe you for November even though like that's not out of good faith. That's like what you were required to do. But anyway, so you decided to pay him 13 K out of good faith. Well, as of yesterday, Willie Mac tweeted at socks for one, a Minecraft YouTuber who stole 13 grand in editing work from artful highlight and only paid it when called out. Well, socks has since charged back the money and refuses to give a statement on it. So here's the DM where he says he's going to pay the guy in good faith for 13 grand. You can read that if you want. But then Willie says, good stuff. And here he says, yo, is it true that you're refunding the money to Artful? And I try to zoom into the screenshot here, and it's basically a PayPal screenshot that says, unauthorized transaction bank reversal. Your buyer notified their bank that this transaction was made by someone without their permission. We've placed a hold on the transaction amount until this case is closed. Case status response required. And basically, yeah, it's the 13 grand. You can see the bottom. The 13 grand is now a disputed amount because he allegedly, I guess, is committing fraud now and saying that he actually, someone else made this payment, even though he literally did. And it actually gets so much worse. Read this. Artful replied, Socks for one has won the claim and got his money back after I provided a response with 12 plus pages explaining everything. He sent this payment to shut the internet up and then refund later on. So Artful now is minus 11,000 USD and it says the case was closed in the buyer's favor based on the info provided. And this is quote, uh, socks for one's manager pulling even more scammy, slimy, disgusting bullshit. Here is the manager trying to push the editors to get paid by me and sending them screenshots of socks for one paying me. Then two months later, they refund the payment. Disgusting. And here's the first screenshot. Also Artful has been paid, so you may want to take it up with him on your agreement. And here's another instance of him doing it. The creature guy hits up this guy and says, yo, I heard you were an, were an editor of ours or kind of lol. And this guy responds, yeah, I was working with Artful on VTubers. Creature says, you were never paid for any video or maybe paid a little, but not enough or what. I'll need all the exact details, receipts, screenshots of payment agreement, etc. The other issue is that Artful has been paid. If you have an agreement with him for how much he owes you, you might want to figure that out, considering that's his whole narrative. I'd love to see what I can do for you, but you might want to take care of things with Artful first. And this guy says, okay, I will ask Artful. So after they sent this 13,000 USD, this slime ball scammer went to the editors and said, yo, by the way, Artful has been paid, so you may want to take it up on him with your agreement. So basically he went to the editors and said, hey, Artful's been paid now for November, so you should be getting your money. You know, basically pressuring Artful to pay the editors what they're, what they're owed because Artful wasn't able to, but now he is because he got the money. So... I don't know if Artful actually paid the editors or not yet. He might have been waiting because he was assuming there's a scam. I have no idea. But basically now it seems that Socks for One just completely scammed Artful. And f if he did pay the editors, forced all of that money out of his pocket instead of how it was supposed to be done the agreed upon way, which is totally normal. So, oh my God. Yeah, this topic just makes me absolutely enraged. And like I said, I highly suggest you watch Willie Mac's video. He goes into the more horrible things that he's done to Artful and how he threatened him with a lawsuit, uh, made him sign an NDA without realizing he didn't even mean to sign it or he signed it without reading it or something. Artful did a lot of mistakes during this whole thing too. Don't get me wrong, but he's done nothing scam like at all. He's scammed nobody, but he got wrongfully painted as one. Thank you guys for watching though. Uh, that's all I have to say on this topic. I'd love to do more, maybe a follow-up where I might go and do a full-on, full-out video on this thing because maybe it deserves more attention.
but this is just completely insane. If you guys like to see that where I do an entire video like Willie Mac style and just really deep dive into this thing with the new updates um, and just, you know, explain why this is so wrong, uh, I might do that. But maybe that's for the future. As of now, that's all I've got. So thanks for watching and peace.